Hey guys, this is Yimps and Fanzanaz here. Today we're going to be doing another diecast unboxing video. This time it will just be two here. It is the Chase Elliott Hooters number 9 paint scheme and Clippers Toko Warranty paint scheme for 2019. I just got these two in the mail today and we're going to be unboxing these two. And just to let you guys know, I have another package coming in. It is the Tidon diecast. It will be arriving on Sunday, so... I'll do that kind of review of that as well, but we're going to start off with Chase Elliott's Hooters paint scheme. I'm just going to put Clint Boyer over here. So anyways, I'll be right back with it. I'll open up. So here's the diecast opened up here, and wow, guys, this looks really nice here. Man, I really like the orange on here. Just like the orange on here and just like when it says Hooters and other logos, it just looks really great on here. He's ran this paint scheme for the past, uh, like, he's ran this in his career, here so far. He's even, I think he's also had when he, he used the 24 car. And he had this paint scheme last year as well when he drove the 9. I have some other Chase Elliott's right here. I have his original Napa paint scheme, his Sun Energy paint scheme that he won at Watkins Glen, his, um... Little Caesars Mountain Dew paint scheme. And also one of his 24 paint schemes. It is Kelly Blue Book paint scheme. So here are all my Chase Elliott diecasts here. So now I have five. Four, have four of them being the nine. And one being the 24. Right here. So like right here it says Hooters. Here and here. And on the roof. Yeah, this paint scheme just looks really cool. Hopefully, I can get that Mountain Dew paint scheme that I really like as well. Hopefully, I can soon get it in here. But I'm just going to move these aside. And now, we're going to be opening up Clipwear's Toko Warranty paint scheme. So, I'll be right back with it opened up. So, here is Clipwear's Toko Warranty paint scheme opened up. Wow, guys. This looks really colorful. Even though it just has blue orange and white here it still looks really awesome man this is maybe one of my maybe my favorite clint boyer paint scheme he's ever run this is also the mustang version here because he just ran this this year and mustang just joined the sport i also have another clint boyer diecast here it is it is his haas automation uh, haas c and c and diecast here he he won twice in his paint team last year he won Martinsville and Michigan here. However, this year he didn't win a race. That was kind of unfortunate because I really like Clint Porter. He's one of my favorite drivers, but he didn't win this year, unfortunately. I don't think he's not going to win a race next year, but I might be proved wrong. But this is also the Ford right here, as you can see, because this was used in 2018. And this is the Mustang version. And he ran this paint scheme a few times this year. Uh, some, uh, some that I can remember are the, are the Spring Talladega Race, All Star, um, and Chicagoland, and then and he he also ran as a New Hampshire Pocono. Um, I'm trying to think of other things and Las Vegas. I think those are the only races he ran in the paint scheme this year. Those are the only ones I can remember, but. This one's a really nice one here. I think, and the reason why I think this is a tall spoiler is maybe because it was probably, yeah, it was. It looks like a Talladega version because in Talladega the spoilers were taller, but not really sure why it's taller compared to the Chase LA one. The spoilers smaller. Maybe it's because of the Ford right here. I'm just not sure. But so here are my two diecasts right here. So in the comments you can tell me which is your favorite diecast out of these two. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.